Okay, Mimi, this is the Amazon Kindle Fire 10, which is a 10-inch display, which is a little bit bigger. You can see this is the cover. It says Amazon right there. Now this cover also acts as a stand. I'll show you how that works in a minute. The connections on it, these two buttons on the right, on the left-hand side, as you're looking at the screen, are the volume. There's the earphone jack or speaker jack. There's a microphone port, the charging ba charging port, which is a micro USB, and the on-off. Now, as far as the charging goes, I prefer that you use the new cables we got you that you can plug in in either direction, so you don't have to worry about that. When you open the cover, it automatically powers up. See, when you close the cover, it power turns off. Or you can use the button on the side. The other thing about the cover is that it acts as a stand. So, if you push it back like this, like this, and bend this flap up, it will act like a stand. There it is, it's standing up, see? Like that. You can also turn it up like this if you want to read a book. It'll stay like that. Okay, we'll just leave it here. Also, it has stereo speakers. There's one on the top by the hinge. And there's one over here. It's got really good sound if you were to, you know, play music or or something. Okay, so turn it on. And you get a screen like this. To get to the main page, down here at the bottom, you'll see three little icons, an arrow, a circle, and a square. Press the circle, and that gives you your main screen. So these are your these are your icons down at the bottom. Now we're going to turn it up this way so they make more more common sense. There's I've divided these into certain things: books, Amazon, which is utilities for Amazon, calculators, camera, reads, uh, reading stuff, links, and utilities and clock. Okay, so if you want to read your book, you, uh, you click on books and it gives you a list. Now the one that you've been reading is at the top, kidnapped or kidnapping my daughter. Okay, so let's go over there. There it goes to chapter four where you were. Now, to go back to the main page or the whatever, you just touch the screen. Okay, and it shrinks down a little bit. And then you got these these things down at the bottom again. So we'll go back to the main page. Okay? But this thing also has Alexa built into it. Now, what I had to do was I'm not sure about that. That's the Alexa in the living room talking back to me. So I had to change the name so it wouldn't get confused with the Alexa that you already have. So I have changed the name to Amazon, okay? That's why the screen just went like that. It's waiting for a command. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to show you this. Now watch. You go open it up to the main page like this, and you say, "Amazon, open books." Here are your Kindle books. Okay, so it does the books right there. You say, "Amazon." The screen gets dark. Open kidnapping my daughter. Sorry. I don't see that if to trigger. It, it got confused with my words, but anyway. Amazon, open kidnapping my daughter. And there it is. So it comes up. And you can say, Amazon, 
go to home page and there he is you back at the home page so you don't really have to push the buttons for anything if you don't want to okay it's very sharp but you can use it for a thing Amazon what's the weather in San Francisco in San Francisco California it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit with intermittent clouds today you can look for lots of clouds with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. Amazon, go to home page. And there it is again. See, so you got your home page. So you don't have to do much of anything. Okay, so you got all these other things up here, your home, your books. You can you can you can hit on the icon, you can hit on these labels if you want to. Or you can just kind of s slide to the left or, you know, there's the books you can do. There's games or videos. You don't have any games. Shopping at Amazon if you want. Um, music. Apps. Music. Audible, which is aud Audible Books. And newsstand. But, you know, you don't, if you don't just want to use it for the books for the time being until you get more used to it, that's fine. Okay, so again, Amazon, open Kidnapping My Daughter in Books. There, see, it went back, it went all the way back to the book. So, it's very powerful. I think you'll really like it. You just got to get used to it. The thing is, you're going to have to charge it basically every day because it uses a lot more power than the, uh, the other Kindle did. But, it's very fast, it's very smooth. The case should be good. You just don't want to drop it. And make sure that you plug that, that special cable that we sent you into the charger port uh, every day at the end of the day just to make sure it's charged up. Now, uh, let me, let me make, go back to the home page. Amazon, open home page. Okay, now up here it tells you what the, the time is and the battery is. The battery percentage 89 percent okay now when you get this you are going to have to um, hook it up to a network before the Amazon works it's gonna ask you it's gonna find your AT&T network but you're gonna have to put in the password if you if you can't do that uh, the voice control won't work so I'm going to put up another short video of what you need to do for that. Okay? Anyway, that's this one for now.